Hi, I'm Mark Bernstein, world famous Unitarian Universalist and deeply beloved member of the UU Church of Delaware County. You are watching this video because you have graciously agreed to be part of the You Belong interview initiative. Or Joan Karasik has something on you and you had no choice but to graciously volunteer. Or perhaps it's neither. Maybe somehow you got a hold of this video and there's nothing else good on television, so. Well, whatever the reason, I'm glad you're here, and thank you. We think that these interviews will be interesting and fun and enlightening and another way to engage with members of your congregation, of our congregation. We are asking you to interview up to three people for no more than 15 minutes. And in this interview, we'll go over the question that we're asking you to ask of the interviewee. And then I'll offer just some tips on um, how to have an engaging and a successful interview. So let me bring up my slideshow. I'm going to move down over here. And the opening statement that we're going to be asking you to read is the rationale for this initiative. As part of the new You Belong initiative at UUCDC, we're engaging members of the congregation in brief conversation with the goal of learning and ultimately sharing how we can be a congregation where every adult, child, visitor, and friend can truly feel that they belong. Please take a few moments to reflect on the following question and then answer as fully as you care to. I will be listening and taking notes. Your anonymous comments will be added to the other responses that we're getting from members of the congregation. So the first thing we're going to ask you to do in your interview is to read this statement so that everyone who's being interviewed has the same orientation to the, the purpose and the goal of this initiative. Here's the question that you're going to ask them, and we're going to ask you just to read it um, as it's written. Think back over your time here at UUCDC and remember a peak moment when you truly felt that you belonged in this congregation, a time when you felt engaged and connected and a part of this community. What was happening? Who was involved? What were you doing? What were others doing? How did it feel? This is an appreciative inquiry question. It is intended to elicit a positive response from the people who answer the question. It asks them to reflect back and use their memories and their emotions and their thoughts to tell a story about a time at UUCDC where they truly belonged. So ask the question, please, as it's written, and then just wait to hear how they respond. The one follow-up question, if they don't answer it in their description that we're going to ask you to ask, is why was this a peak moment for you? So we're asking you to hold off on this follow-up question until the person has, an, has had an opportunity to respond. And then if you don't hear the, the reasons why this was a peak moment, and we think that this is really key to finding out what it is about the moment that helps someone to belong, then we would ask you to just follow up with that question. And again, to read it exactly as it's written. Here are some suggestions, some tips that we'd like to offer in order that the conversation be a successful one, but that it also be as consistent as possible across the interviews. So your responsibility as the interviewer is to listen well and to take notes as faithfully as you can. We want to ask you to allow some time for the interviewee to reflect on the question. The person's going to have to think back to a moment when they felt that they truly belonged, and that may take a little bit of time. So allow some silence and invite them to take their time to think of that situation first before they begin to respond. When they do respond, ask them to be as specific as they can in relating the peak moment. We're not looking for generalities here. We're looking for specific occasions, circumstances, incidents in which the person felt that they truly belonged. 
We ask that you interrupt only to ask clarifying or summary questions to make sure that you understand what it is that they're saying. This is their opportunity to talk, not to have a dialogue with them. And you don't have to take notes and complete sentences. You want the person to know that you're listening, so you don't want to be so focused on taking notes. But we want you to record the essence of what the person is saying. Listen for some key words and or strong emotions. Try to give us as much detail as you can, but you don't have to be writing a novel based on what the person is telling you. The notes are important, though, because it's the only way that we're going to be able to garner information from the interview sessions. Some more suggestions. Please be mindful of the time. The interview should last no more than 15 minutes, and we really want to be respectful of people's time. If they ask what will be done with the information, reiterate the comments in your opening statement. And by the way, this is confidential information. We're not going to be attributing any of these circumstances to any particular names of people who shared that story. If someone should speak critically about the congregation or another member, you can let them know that they've been, they've been heard and then redirect them by asking the question again. Please resist getting into a conversation about the concern that they may have. That's not the purpose of this interview. You can also direct them to Reverend Peter or the executive team or someone who might be able to better uh, respond to whatever concern they may have. And we're certainly hoping that that doesn't happen. And be sure to thank the interviewee for sharing their thoughts and their heart and um, acknowledging the time that they gave in this interview. Now, we, um, I, I, uh, Joan and I have a, a present for all of you who are participating um, in this interview process. And here it is. It's a picture of my dog. Now, you don't get the dog. I mean, it's my dog, so hands off. But you get to look at this picture of my dog. And if you want to save this video, you can look at a picture of my dog anytime that you want. This is Lenny, and he says hi. So thanks very much for participating in this initiative. We're really excited to hear what people have to say. And we believe that as a result of this, we will continue our journey toward becoming a more welcoming, belonging, and loving congregation. Thanks. Bye.